Okay, perfect. Thank you. That's our buddy here. And we have multiple witnesses, so you're, you're toast. Now the restraining order is coming through. They literally called the cops because I came to turn in some paperwork. What's up, man? How you guys doing? Are you the one they were having an issue with? Huh? Uh, they called they were having an issue about someone. Did you? Oh, I don't know, man. I haven't had an issue. You just here picking something up or what? I was here dropping something off. Yeah. Okay. So were you over... Uh, I'm Rob. I'm the manager here. Um, were you over at... You're who? Rob, the manager. Rob, okay. Right Good to meet you. Yeah. Were you over at the Stinger Branch earlier? Uh, Yeah, sure okay. was. So what happened over there? I don't know, man. Did anything happen over there? Did Rico come out and talk to you or anything? The clerk over there? Did they come out and talk to me? When? Yeah. Today? Yeah, today. Yeah, they spoke to me. What, what did he say? Well, what, what do you, do you want to know a specific question or what? No, I just didn't know what he did over there. What did he say? What's going on, Bay Fam? It's your boy, Bay Area Transparency, and we're back at it once again. This video also took place in August. You can see the date right here. It was a couple days after I originally went. We went back to serve a litigation hold letter so I could do a FOIA request for the videos that they took of me and the video surveillance cameras in the post office. Rico was at it again. He learned nothing from the first altercation that he created. He created another altercation, not physical, thank goodness. But everything he created was uncalled for both times. You guys are gonna see exactly what happened the next day I went to this post office. We even talked to their supervisor that day, and you guys are going to see that conversation as well. Go ahead and follow us on Facebook, Bay Area Transparency Official. Follow us on Instagram, at Bay Area Transparency. Subscribe, like, share. Let's get them subscribes up. Let's get them likes up, baby. Let's go ahead and keep pumping. We got another set of crazy, crazy videos coming for you guys it's bat baby and i'm out it looks like there are no regular people let's go ahead and go in bear with me baby fam. hello how you doing good 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 just need to drop these off and if you guys can uh have two copies maybe you guys can timestamp one and I'll look, you can have one and I'll keep one. And then there's these as well. So what am I supposed to be doing? Well, I'm turning these in for you guys and then one's my copy. So you guys can keep one copy. And then if you guys can just sign somewhere that the post office received it, maybe you have a stamp or something. So I can show that you guys got it. I have a copy signed that you guys received these and that's it. We'll have to get that official from the post office uh, supervisor, you can call him. Okay, that's fine. This is, uh, you know, we don't just have That's even sign, just something saying that you guys got it, but that's fine. Anyway, however you want to do it. Thank you. What was your name so I don't mess it up? My name? Yeah. Is pen, pen. Who? I'm so sorry. Who gender? Regender. Regender. Thank you very much, Regender. I appreciate you. Okay, perfect. Thank you. That's our oh. buddy here. What an idiot, what a get clown. Get out of here. Get out of here. What an idiot, what a clown. Get out of here. This is his response. To a member of the public who's dropping off legal paperwork and public records requests. This is what I'm dropping off. A litigation hold letter for his videos and public records requests for his videos. Get out of here. What a clown. What an idiot. That's what he said. Get, well, a, get out of here. What a clown. What an order. idiot. Because of this, Restraining that, order now. And we have multiple witnesses, so you're you're toast. Yeah, now the restraining okay, order is coming through. Yeah, until we yeah. can't find anything. Of course.
Bay fam, do you see what just happened? It's clear that this individual, Rico, as he says his name is, which isn't his real name, learned nothing from the first interaction that we had. And I didn't know it at this time. I found out a little bit later this day. He had already talked to his supervisor and his supervisor told him to leave me alone, leave people recording alone. He doesn't want to. He likes the interaction. He likes the confrontation. I don't know why. Now, I have some other conversations that I recorded that aren't in these videos. Yes, I know what he said. He said many, many things about me, and I got the conversations recorded. They're not in these videos because by the time you've seen this video, I have already been back to the post office to do a follow-up and try to ask some questions and do an investigative report. I want to ask his co-workers how they feel about all these Google reviews and Yelp reviews that talk about the way Rico treats people. This postal worker is clearly unhinged and does not deserve to work for we the people. In his mind, he's our boss. He's called me crazy numerous times. I have it on recording, right? And it's clear that we are not the ones with the issue because we are trying to do a news story or record our interactions with public employees. This individual does not deserve to work for we the people. I can't stress it enough. I can't say it enough. Let's get back to the video. Okay, now a restraining order is coming <laughs> because I'm dropping off legal paperwork. These are public records requests. There's a public records request they have to take. It's the Freedom of Information Act the law, right? And uh, then you have a litigation hold letter. They also have to take this. We got somebody else in here now, so I'm gonna keep my camera pointed down and Make yeah, sure this guy's not on. Can't sign or anything like that. If you want to take it to Arden, you, you, you guys have to accept it though. There's a public records request, and then this is going to be a court document. So. No, that's fine. You can. Our supervisor is Arden. Our manager is at Arden. Okay. You can take it to them and give it to them because they are this facility located under our management. Yeah, I know, but the law says I I can give this to you guys too. I know, but we are employees. So I understand. You need to give it to the supervisor or the manager. Go to Arden, you talk to them, you give it to them. Okay, so I'm in I'm not familiar with Arden. What do you have the address or yeah, something that 20, I can get yeah, for sure. it? 2801 Arden Way. 2801 Arden Way. Okay, well then I need that copy back that you guys have so I can go take it to them apparently. Okay. Um copy? that shouldn't be Yeah. Yeah, you guys took the you took the paper that I the one. So I just need that back so I can go hand it to them. Here this lady came back out and started helping people again. As you guys can see, and uh, didn't tell me anything. Oh, well, literally, didn't barely even look at me. Just looked at the people, the same lady. Mind if I just ask a question? Oh, where is the letters? Yeah, I mean, if you guys aren't going to sign for it, you don't get to make copies and keep it and all that stuff. So, you guys need to give it back to me, like now. Thank you. What the f is this? They rip. He ripped it. So he ripped. He ripped the the stamp or the staple off, and uh, they copied it. So they they wanted to make copies, but they don't want to sign for the copies. Oh, here comes the Sac County Sheriff again. I don't know what more we need. They called the sheriffs. Look at that. What's up, man? How you guys doing? Are you the one they were having an issue with? Huh? Uh, they called they were having an issue about someone. Did you? Oh, I don't know, man. I haven't had an issue. You just here picking something up or what? I was here dropping something off. Yeah. Cool. Let's get a picture of this. Okay. I want to make sure that I can get what they're saying before anything else. So let me just ask them real quick and then I'll pop back up out of here. 
you may just want to make sure you guys are body cams are on so i can get everything later there sure. okay cool i'm gonna request them i'll stand out here because it's crazy man. so <laughs> anyways uh so i just stayed here because uh, i figured this guy would do this because i come to drop legal paper off fucking legal paperwork so yeah it doesn't make any sense total waste of resources absolute waste Fellas, can I get your names real quick before you go? So I can log it. Just want to log it. Thank you. How's it going, man? Can I get all your names real quick? I just want to log it. What are you doing names for? We didn't talk to you or say anything to you or anything? Well, you showed up and, and I'm dropping. There's some legal shit going on. So I just want to be able to get your body cam. Are the Niners going to win the Super Bowl? I fucking hope so, man. We, we look so like shit. you win all that money, you want to bet? <laughs> Bet what? If they, you How much you want to bet? I ain't got no money. <laughs> you got plenty of fucking money. Reed, Reed thank you. Dennis, De Dennis, thank you. What was it? Penwell. Penwell, thank you guys. Yeah, I just, I'm just gonna get your cams. That's all. Thank you guys. Have a good day. All right, I'm out of here. I would have been gone a long time ago. They didn't want to take my fucking legal paperwork that they have to, and now I gotta go drop it off at another office because this didn't want to take it one two three four three cars four sheriffs why call them for me coming in and and dropping off a litigation hold letter right so we're up in here i'm just gonna give it a little lap real quick so were you over uh, i'm rob i'm the manager here um uh, were you over at who Rob, Rob, okay. okay, good to meet you. Yeah. Were you over at the center branch earlier? Uh, yeah, sure okay. was. So what happened over there? I don't know, man. Did anything happen over there? Did Rico come out and talk to you or anything? The clerk over there? Did they come out and talk to me? When, yeah. today? Yeah, today. Yeah, they spoke to me. What, what did he say? Well, what, what, what do you, do you want to know a specific question or what? No, I just didn't <laughs> know what he did over there, what he, you know, over there. You, no, need, you need to know he, what he did? Yeah, did, did, was he verbally abusive to you or anything else like that? Why, <laughs> why do you ask that? I just... Did you have some you have some other instances where he might have been verbally abusive to people? No, I just want to know if he was or not because he's under order. We already explained to him about you guys have the legal right to walk in. You know, as long as you guys don't uh, get uh, photo caught up, you know, shoot my calendar. You know, and but you, you come in and you take pictures of the inside of the building, outside the building. Oh, yeah, we could shoot the counter, too. We just can't be close, like somebody's doing information, and I can't be there like that. But if I get it from a distance or something, yeah, we could shoot it, okay, too. I'm not, I'm yeah, to me, it's not a big thing. I know, I, and it, I could tell by your demeanor, you're not, and I can. That's why I was over here preparing to have this interaction, because of what happened the other day, man. It was insane but yeah they refused to take my public records request that i tried to drop off um he called me a fucking idiot and a fucking clown and get the fuck out of here uh excuse me get out of here not get the fuck out of here um and then uh you know he's loud man and you can hear him in the back and he's telling regender that he's a fucking asshole and a motherfucker and, a, and an idiot and don't listen to him and i got it all on camera so, uh, as well as him, you know, attacking me the other day when the cops called, got called. Right. Um, so, yeah, it'll all come out. And so now we're, we're at this point where I, they're all re I wasn't even going to come here, but I came to drop these letters off and I needed uh, something just signed by you guys saying, hey, we received this information. Hold on one second. Let me. So there's one. Uh, oh, and this is an, can I sit, can I, I need some place to set it down. Um, so they took one letter i put them out for them and regender went and got them and they took this one and tried to not give it back and i said no you have to give it back so he went and ripped it open so he could send it to you i heard him talking on the phone to you um as well and uh, so he has a copy of this and i that since he ripped it off and they finally gave it back to me after 10 15 minutes of 20 minutes of trying to keep it back there Basically, he was trying to act like they didn't get it, but steal a copy of it. That's my opinion. But I, if you guys can just sign something here saying you received that one, and then this, they wouldn't even take. And these, this, per the FOIA laws, we can just give verbally anywhere. So 
they they really violated FOIA when they chose not to take this. And I had them all laid out like this on the thing. Hey, here's one. Here's your copy. Here's sign mine. Here's your copy. Sign mine. And they said, no, get out of here. You're a clown. You're an idiot. Go. Um, and if you want, before I leave here, I can show you that. Uh, I can I can show you that video. But uh, um, it, it's it's bad, man. And I checked your guys' reviews after this as I'm doing the, the story on that post office because he in particular has a lot of bad reviews he has a lot of people on there saying that he yells at people and screams at people and if he's in a good mood he's cool and if he's not it's not and that's what i experienced and then with him coming out and attacking me and trying to uh either one steal or vandalize my property um uh it was very very fucking clear that this guy this guy doesn't deserve this job nor does he need it so we're going to see how much we can help with uh, having uh, him replaced. But he also, you can read the public records request. He he took some pictures and videos doing that. He made a public record. Hold on just a second, please. So. Hello? Okay, so this well, is their manager. I was, I was yeah, walking around. I, he it sounds like they were already told <laughs> it sounds like he already told him that we're allowed to come in and record and he still acted the way that he acted when i got over there this gentleman i believe he said his name was rob his temperament and attitude is way different than what we experienced over there so i appreciate him for for okay, just gotta, acting normal you know right now i don't know if i can sign these or not be really truthful Okay, I'm going over to see my boss right now over at center. Mm -hmm. um, if you don't want me to take copy, that's fine. Um, but right now, I don't know. If well, there's nothing it. to sign. I just need something saying you received it. I'm not asking you. This you have to. It's a public records request. You have to take it. You don't right. really have a choice on that one. Okay. This one, you, you also don't. I mean, I can email. It's going to all these people as well. It's going all to your guys' inspector general and everybody. I've already sent them certified letter and or email out that way. So this tells you basically, hey, um, your guys' cameras up top, any statements made or taken by you guys, all that stuff has to be preserved because it's now going to be part of a court case, a litigation. And so that's all that that says. Basically, whole, his, his, his uh, phone, videos, pictures, anything he took that day, what he took them on camera so we know he has them, all that has to be taken from him. You guys have to get a copy. And here I'm requesting it. If he erases it or anything like that at that point, it's a crime. He's actually committed a crime. So um, he's got himself in hot water. I know he thinks that I'm in hot water, <laughs> but I, uh, it's the other way around. He also told me when I went back over there to drop these off that he was getting a restraining order. He called the police again. The SAC sheriff showed up and didn't even talk to me, and they just left. So, um, yeah. I, I wish we could have. I wish it would have went like this, and I could just highlighted your guys's post office over there. So, but now at least I can highlight you, you know, and say that 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 you did a good job and you were helpful. But it's unfortunate. So this one, I don't have to sign. No, I just yeah, I need something just saying received it. Whatever, Rob received on this date. And then his name, I understand, isn't Rico. I asked him his name that day. He wouldn't tell me. He said it was Rico. Um, but I understand now that his name's Vincent. So um, part of the request is also just to get his full name and all that good stuff. Okay. Cool. I appreciate it, man. Right, yeah. I was trying to build myself up. My opinion is, like, if I had that experience over there, I thought this one was going to be worse with you. I'm like, if he acts like that, his boss must be ten times worse. But you're no. not, and I appreciate you. No problem. So thank you. All thank right. you, sir. All right, and, and uh, I'll actually just get out of your hair now. All right, Bay fam. We saw what happened when I spoke with Rico's supervisor right now, and we saw what happened earlier in the day when we had another interaction with Rico, and it was apparent that he didn't learn anything. I have to ask the question. Do you feel that Rico's supervisor was being forthcoming and honest, and that was really the way he felt, the way he was interacting with me? Do you believe that he really thinks that? 
And I ask this question because after I had this conversation with Rico's supervisor, I went back to the post office that Rico works at and I was getting B-roll footage in a public area and the supervisor was there along with another supervisor and another individual and they were having a conversation. Well, I heard that conversation and I also got that conversation on audio recording and I heard them admit that Rico assaulted me and I heard him say some other things as well. Now, another thing that you guys don't know because it's not in this video and it wasn't in part one is that I have some other audio recordings of Rico. I have him calling me a mother. I have him calling me an asshole. I have him saying that I'm crazy. I have him saying he was keeping my papers on purpose so that he can make copies and show everybody and put them out. I have all kinds of other audio footage on Rico that aren't in this video, okay? And I'm not gonna say where I got those, but I got them. So what you guys don't know is by the time you're viewing this video, by the time you even viewed the first video, part one, we have now went back to the center post office branch over there in Sacramento, California. And we want to ask questions of Rico's coworkers about how they feel about all the negative Yelp reviews and all the negative Google reviews regarding Rico, this very person that we had this interaction with. You can see some of these reviews right now popping up on the screen, but it's very clear that he's been a problem for a long time, and yet he still has a job at this post office. That's what I don't understand. If any of us were to go tell our bosses and the people we work for to call them clowns and get out of here and, and all these other names and you're crazy and all these other things that Rico said, we wouldn't have a job. But it seems like Rico is getting away with this all the time. Look at the Yelp reviews. Look at the Google reviews. It's Rico who they're talking about. So it's obvious his supervisor knows these issues exist by the way he acted with me. And it seems that they are not doing anything about it. This is an issue. This is not okay. We need to change it. This post office branch needs to make some changes. Be on the lookout for part three for when I go back and ask these hard questions. Be on the lookout for all my videos. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. It's Bay Area Transparency and I'm out, baby.